Today I'm going to do a moose hunt on my own map because I've really been wanting a moose um, diamond. I've been doing a grind, kind of, not a ton. I haven't been on it too heavy, but this I think will be the first video I've done on it. But we're starting off with a pretty decent four. I'm going to let him lift his antlers up so we don't shoot him or anything. Let's see. I believe that should be good there. And yeah, he's going down, so... We'll go grab him real quick. Unfortunately, the render glitch came into play, but I think it is going to let us confirm him. He was a gold. Um, that's all I really was looking to see, because I'm pretty sure he had a chance, but that's kind of unfortunate. We have a pretty nice level 3 right here. The only thing is, is there's a bunch of limbs and stuff in the way. So, hopefully, yeah, it didn't register the limbs. Or we didn't hit any of them. So that's good. I was going to try to see if we could get another shot off. But he's done pretty quickly. So I'm sure that we got along. Right up here is our level 3. And I mean, I think I may be seeing more moose in their feed time than I am drink time. I don't know why. I mean, I've ran all of Belmont. I've ran this lake. I've ran this little river right here. I've ran this whole river system, and I think that I see more on their feed time. I'm going to kind of keep looking. I will guess I'll hunt their drink time and as long as it is their drink time, but I may hunt their feed time a little bit and kind of see what happens. We have another level 3 out here. who's a pretty decent one. Let's see if we can take him. Let it raise up just a little bit or not. Let's take a long shot instead. And yeah, he's going down. Right here is our level 3. Um, I don't know if he's going to be big enough to make gold. And he's not. 190. And 194 is gold, so he was pretty close. I would say that I'm pretty glad I decided to go hunt their feed zone. We have a piebald level 3 moose right here. He's not very big at all. But I did bring the moose collar and a crossbow. Let me actually get back down. So I'm going to try to call him in. And we'll try taking him with the crossbow. So once he gets close enough for us to take a shot, I'll get back with y'all. So they're doing a thing where he's kind of stuck with the water. And I figured this would kind of happen. So I'm just going to try to kind of get out here into the woods. Or not in the woods, but just kind of scoot around these bushes. And get where we're close enough in range. And I mean, if stuff does end up going bad, I do have the 300 on me. So he's actually attentive, so let me kind of scoot back a little bit. But yeah, if stuff does go bad, I have the 300 on me. And we may have to end up using that 300. Let me just sit here for a second and see what he does. He's 67. I've never shot with the crossbow, though. So I really don't want to mess anything up. That's my one thing about shooting with it. I don't know. I'm guessing the top one is going to be which one I'm zeroed for. Let me just scoot very quietly. So I imagine he's hearing me. Because that's usually how most animals work in this game. Let's see. Alright, he's calm again. So, I mean, if I keep getting closer, I'll feel better about it. I don't really know what's going to happen. I think if we can get to this bush right here in front of us, I think I'll feel comfortable enough to take that shot. I have his zone too. So, I mean, we should be pretty good. Even if we do mess it up, we should be able to get another shot on him. Alright. He's really close. You see how close? 55. I think we're going to take this. Wait for him to get his head out of the way. Alright, we hit him. And I think we got a lung. He's going down pretty fast. So I feel like we had to have gotten a lung. Alright, he shouldn't have gone too far, I don't think. He was going down pretty quickly. Let's see. Now there's his blood. And yeah, it's pretty, pretty good blood. So, 
I guess I'm going to go finish tracking him and we'll pick up when we claim him. Right here is our moose and I have an albino female, a melanistic female, and finally we're getting a rare male or a rare bull and this is one that I do not have. I do not have a piebald. So I'm pretty happy to see that guy. Definitely pretty cool. I really wish that it, we could get a diamond, but hopefully it won't take too long for us to get one. And I think it must be the middle dot that must be what we're zeroed for because we hit pretty low on that. I mean, it was 61 meters. I don't really know. Thankfully, that's probably going to be the last thing, our last moose that we shoot with the crossbow because, I mean, if we get a level 5, I'm just going to take it with the 300 and move on. So, just as moose hunting always is for me, it's been super slow. We have a level 3 right here. I have no idea if we hit it or not. Or even where we hit it. So, I mean, I guess I'll go check it out. I don't think we dropped him. I don't think we got that lucky. Because he did run off. But, we'll go see. It turns out that we did make a good shot on this guy. I think he was single lung. I mean, it was vital organ hit, according to the blood. So, yeah, single blood. Or single lung just silver but I'm ready to go check out that piebald in the lodge I put our moose right here I had a little piebald Rocky Mountain elk there but I like the moose a lot better just a little something you know to kind of work on the stuff in the walls and these hallways kind of going off this main little bit so that'll wrap us up for today and I'll see y'all next time